Good day, chemist in Japan. De gozaimasu. What you're seeing here is a chemical reaction being run in a microwave. And I've sped it up to 800% uh, the, the speed of the original video because I'm sure you don't want to watch the entire half hour reaction. But as you saw at the beginning of the video, the solution was kind of a, a pale pink color and then it kind of darkened. On well, here, in just a second, the solution is going to go clear and then the reaction is going to occur and it's going to go back orange again. One of the things that's great about the microwave reactor that we have is that we can actually use the camera and watch our reactions happen, which is an important thing because this reaction that we're doing in the microwave is normally done conventionally on the bench top and it's just heated in a flask. And, and it, But the problem is that this reaction normally takes three days and in the microwave it runs for half an hour. And so the neat thing that we observed is we see the exact same color changes uh, that we do in the normal reaction uh, here in the microwave. But the other wonderful thing that the microwave offers us, along with the time savings, is that for this particular reaction, the yield uh, of the product is much higher, and uh, which, which is very good because the, uh, the starting materials for this reaction are very expensive. So if we can get a higher yield out of it, then we get more bang for our buck. So in just a minute, I'm going to show you the video where we remove the react uh, the reaction the reactor flask from the uh, from the microwave and have a look at the product. It's very very beautiful. That's good. That means there's a lot of product. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. There you go. Good. Hold on. But anyway, the, uh, the, the product of that reaction is, as I said, it's very pretty just to look at, but uh, it has all sorts of wonderful properties. And um, the microwave... It's 1815. Yes, it is. Uh, the microwave has been, been very, very good to us lately. In fact, we're running some other reactions in the microwave, trying them out, and we've already got some very interesting results. Um, for, uh, results from it. We're trying a new series of reactions, both conventionally and in the microwave, so um, it's become uh, a, a bit of um, uh, an interest. Uh, I don't want to say a play toy, but we, uh, several of my co-workers, we've all been very happily playing with the microwave, seeing uh, what reactions that we normally do conventionally, what we can do in the microwave, and, and if it is able to help us. The big key of the microwave was to um, not only increase uh, the speed of the reaction so that it gets done faster, but also improve the yield of the reaction. Uh, because microwaves can do things to the molecules that regular heating in an oil bath uh, or on a hot plate can't do um, because of the amount of energy in a microwave. It's, uh, it's all very interesting. So that's one of the things that we've been playing with lately. Thanks for watching.